very much. Well, uh, in 2020, we started the decade of action to uh, address the SDGs by 2030. And then, of course, the tragedy of uh, COVID uh, befell the world, not just this country, but the world. Um, most of uh, our uh, developed countries experienced uh, COVID as a health um, crisis. Uh, we in Africa were fortunate that it did not so much become a health crisis, but we were not fortunate because it became a major socioeconomic crisis, uh, one that impacted the very poorest, that set us off track for the SDGs. And for the last year and a half, we have been grappling with how um, to first stop the backslide uh, of uh, achieving the SDGs and to find some way in the global response uh, to inject more investments um, and to try to protect the gains of the Sustainable Development Goals. This has been difficult because unless there is a vaccine for everyone around the world, that uh, response then leaves uh, COVID in some parts of the world. And we are seeing a third wave in Africa, uh, fortunately, uh, not so much um, in this part of the sub-region, but it's there, and so we cannot rest. Uh, we have to still protect ourselves. Our health systems uh, have to be strong in order to do this for the people. But I think what is more important is that how do we make sure that the resources that are required for countries like Nigeria uh, to invest um, in the SDGs are available? Uh, currently, there are efforts that have been made around debt, um, uh, where, I mean, many countries like ours have a lot of debt, so how to have a standstill so that we can free up the fiscal space, the resources that are needed uh, to give uh, social protection programs to the very poor, um, to begin to do much of what we need for climate action on energy transitions, on connectivity, on food systems. So investments in the SDGs now coming from um, what uh, the global response is. It's currently insufficient, even as a country, if we wanted to go to the market to, to, uh, to get credit, it would be very difficult for Africa. Africa, uh, the rates are not the same as they are for the developing world. And so the Secretary General continues to um, advocate uh, for better access to credit 